Good morning, YouTube. Good morning, YouTube. We are waiting for the bus to take us to the shops. <laughs> We're going to the range today, yeah. and it's going to be a good mm, half hour or so, maybe a little bit longer on the bus to get there because it's a good like nine ten miles away. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we are going to check in regularly, and then we're going to make a big video of our day out when we are done. So we'll see yeah. you in a little while. What? Here comes our bus. Comes well, when the traffic lets it come up the road, it will. I just made Nicola. You waving? Go on, got to stick your arm out then. Sit, <laughs> stick your arm out. Here it comes. YouTube, say hi! Hi! <laughs> I think Planet YouTube is water. Yeah. And do you like it? Do you see that Planet YouTube? This is the section with all of the fake flowers in. They actually look quite cool. Quite realistic a lot of them nowadays. And some of these bouquets, you know? Mom, you get away with these for weddings and shit. And nobody there. would know. They'd look good in a vase, wouldn't it? I think they're lovely. So this is all fancy candles and clocks and weird ass shit that you might want to put in your house. But that's not what we want. We want the arts and crafts section, which is right down the other end of the store, naturally. So this is it. We've got bride and groom Dying stuff, to. stuff that Daryl's going to want to touch, cards, ooh, paper and stuff, embellishments, it's cool, ooh, pretty butterflies, I like these, and I want me, oh, like loonies, they got me, I can see quite, mm. <laughs> oh my word. Big puffy wall decorations. <gasps> oh, he bought one of these. Hey look, mermaids. Who is it? Doesn't that mermaids? Somebody, yeah, I know, big unicorn one. Can I have it? Wooden llamas. No, you can't put it now. I love this. Different embellishments. Oh, keys. Craft storage containers, pins that I could stick on my trolley. I think they're metal, I feel it. Only a pound. Now you can have one of these. Might be useful. Little bottle. I want some, but I want screw tops because I just know that pulling out corks means I will make a hell of a mess. Little organza bags and lace, adhesive lace borders. Those are cute. I've got that set, cats. Put those you, down, please. You can have one of them. I don't want one of them, thank you. But you can take one home. Yeah, could you put it down, please? <laughs> Craft magnets. That'd be good for sticking stuff to my trolley. Oh, little mirrors. Oh, they might be useful for some stuff. Wow, can I? Buckets. I want one. I want one of these. You want one of everything. You're worse than me. Over here we have some more craft storage. 
So, oh, stackable storage. That might be better if you've got like lots of little things. I tend to keep jars and shit for stuff like that. I suppose you've got a lot of buttons and stuff they'd be useful. I've got one of these, but it's crap. Floral hobbies, if you're into your flower stuff. Get all that stuff you need in here. And then ribbons, ribbons galore. I love ribbons. I like stuff like these. You can have one of these. It's only a pound for that. That's not bad, is it? I don't know how much you get on it. Oh, a metre. It's not a huge amount. Do you but want one of these? No, I don't want one of these. All different colours. I know that um, Jen's, Genevieve has got this fantastic this ribbon way. that looks like um, flowers. Come and it's on, really, really pretty. Really In a sec, I'm looking at stuff. It's, and it's really pretty. I, can't, I don't got anything like that here. I think she says she got it in Joanne's. Yeah, I'm coming. Just wait a minute, Mister Impatient. Knitting yarn. Um, Peyton's. Come on, all Peyton's yarn. Cup. So a few what little. What is it like? A few little knitting um, equipment. start a sewing machine. That's a good idea. Canvases. Can I get a No, we're not going down that way yet. We're going down this we're gonna have a look all look all up and down all of them. <laughs> we will in a minute. Daryl, don't pull me. <laughs> Cutting dies of all different types and descriptions. Some more ribbons left. frame punch board. I'd like to have a play with one of these, um, but I can't see what the price is in here. Oh, they've got a fuse tool as well. I want to have a play with one of them as well. I've got I've got a stamping press, so I'm alright about that. But, yeah. I don't know why I want one, just because they look like a lot of fun. I would like one of these, I must admit. I don't want one of them. But there's no Frickin' price on them in here. I want one of them. So some more embellishments and stuff. This is really nice actually. I'm in two months whether to buy this. It's ten quid though. And then the, the fairies on it are sparkly, but I don't know. You've got like all the all the glitter glues and shit. Glues, adhesives, some ink pads, embossing pads. I haven't found an embossing pen yet. I found chalk pens and Hi Planet YouTube. Hi Planet YouTube. Say hi. 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 Can I go to the rocket ship? Yeah, we're going to the bloody rocket ship. Can I, can I go? In a sec. Can I go to the pier? Ooh, what's this? Oh, this is like bonkers glitter stuff. I will make a lovely mess with that. Oh, they've got loads of different types as well. <gasps> they've got purpley sort of... Oh, scarlet, red, diamond harlequin. Candy pink hexagons and hot pink stars. Ah, oh, cool. These are nice. I like these. Snow spray. I've got those. I haven't used them yet. I've got the double pack, that one. Gold and silver. Wedding invite star. Ink and pens and other stuff. They've got watercolours and acrylic paint over there, Windsor Newton stuff. Even so little half pounds that vary in price from fiver up to eight pounds per half pound, which 
It's a lot of money, but there you go. Ooh, a paddy rubber. That's a Windsor Newton one. I wonder if that's any better than the one I've got. I might try it just to see if it's any better. Because I think the one I got was a Faber Castell one. No, it wasn't. It's from the works. Watercolours? Well, that was slightly stressful. The arts and crafts section leads into the kids section. So, you know, one minute I'm looking at fucking paper and stamps and all that crap. Then I go around the corner and I'm like greeted with cars, Paw Patrol and Toy Story. All the things he loves. So immediate meltdown in the store because he wanted it all. <laughs> so I shot him up with chocolate. <laughs> so he's quite happy at the moment, aren't you? What you got? Show us. You got, ah, oh, inside of an egg. That was Paw Patrol egg. I didn't know they did Paw Patrol eggs. So now we're waiting for the bus to take us back into Newport. So then we can catch another bus to go to ride to go and see Callie and Rob. Um, I, I spent, yeah, hang on. I spent 31 quid in there, so I'm quite happy with that. And I did buy us a little bit of chocolate each. Um, I bought some uh, Dahlia and Rowney watercolours, uh, stamp or two. But I will do a haul at the end of this video to show you what I bought because I don't want to get it all out. So yeah, bus will be here in a minute. Uh. We're now on the bus going to Rob's house. Yeah. I've got no idea how long this journey takes. I got but checked. We'll get there eventually. I got checked. I know. We can show everybody when we get home. So yeah, luckily we got a seat right in front of the bus, so we got to see everything. Yeah, we're gonna go to Rob's house. We are. Bye. See you soon. We're very lucky to live in such a pretty area. Good morning, Planet. I apologise if this makes you slightly nauseous. We've just got into ride. That there is the solo which takes you across to the mainland. Yeah, which is that the over there. That's the most expensive stretch of water in the world. Yeah. To take a car over there, sorry about the bouncing, um, it's about £60 for a day return with, with a car. And it's about £15 to £20 without a car for a day return. It's absolutely outrageous. The crossing, if you don't have a car, takes about 15 to 20 minutes, nearly an hour with the car. Say hi. Hi. We're just going back home, but can you and Robert are going to stay at Rob's house? They are. We're going to go home on the train. Look, I got a Paw Patrol book. You've got a Paw Patrol book. Yes. Yeah, and I've got to do colouring. You're going to do colouring in it? Yeah? Stop sticking your tongue out. You look disgusting. Yeah. So, oh, here comes the choo-choo train. I see it. It's coming back to work. Um, goodbye, Planet YouTube. There you go. So, our trains are ex-London underground trains. Yeah, we and they're quite old, and as you can hear, very, very noisy and very, very bumpy but um, it takes about 25 minutes to get from Ride where Callie and Rob live to Lake where we live and yeah we bounce a lot yeah, like that. <laughs> <laughs> but in a minute we'll be stopping at Smallbrook Junction which is the Isle of Wight steam railway traffic stop um, if we're lucky there might be one actually in the station we'll be able to it's see in a minute Toby. is it Toby okay just walking into Los Altos Park. Los Altos is Spanish for the heights. For those of you that didn't know, there's a nice little footpath down that way. And we've got a big wide open grass area here. Popular with dog walkers as you can see. 
with families and it's a lovely area and it's kept in good condition and this was land that used to be owned by a man called Drabbles, D-R-A-B-B-L-E-S and when he died he left Los Altos Park to the people of Sandown in perpetuity so yeah the council can't take it over and build crap on it which is lovely and there's a lane up the road called Drabbles Lane in memory of him this is just where Trees. Oh, look at the sunlight coming through. Trees have grown and shaded it to make a nice little sort of tunnelled path. But it's a lovely area. Yeah, that's nice. And it's huge. I'll show this. you. It's sort of like in two halves. The park. This is the bit that's got all the trees and that lot in. The railway track is right next to it. We've just got off at Sandown. And during the during the autumn time or the fall, as the Americans call it. This is absolutely covered in leaves. It's brilliant. It's nice. Yeah, it's for kicking. It's for kicking, isn't it? Yeah, let's do it. You're gonna do it. Go on then. <laughs> Park through there. It's just a big green sloping field. Very, very popular with people in the winter if there is any snow. But we are not going there. We are gonna cross over the railway tracks. Yeah. Where the trains go. And it is as easy as this. You literally open the gate, it's very squeaky, stand still Daryl. Yeah. It's just a latch gate. Okay, then that takes us back the way we came on the train obviously. You can walk and across it here and that way takes you on towards the house. But yeah, you just simply cross the track and then go in the steps. And down the steps. And then, and then we go along that footpath. And we just keep following this footpath really until we're near the park near where we live. That's the local football club ground. Um, there's kids usually in here practicing on Saturdays and a very, very eager labradoodle or something through there. Having it's a good a dog. time. But it's a nice field that again it is open to the public, so you can go in there. It's a dog. And let's get past the fence. It's allow bad. your animals to run about kids have picnics and shit in here it's lovely so we had a good day um sorry I'm strangling myself on my own night shirt so I thought I'd check everything that we bought we bought a little medium needed putty eraser by Winsor & Newton so that will replace my crappy one that I don't get on with very well I also bought this little pot and this little pot it's for my little embossing thing. Because <laughs> I know sooner or later I'm going to rip this. So I wanted a little pot to keep it in. And that one is perfect. There you go. It fits in there and it will keep it sealed so I won't lose bits. Then I bought some of these photo corners. Um, I saw Genevieve use these only recently. And... Um, they weren't cheap, okay. Uh, I think it was a couple of quid for just uh, four, eight, twelve, six, twenty-four, um, which is going to be enough to do six photos if you want to do a one on each corner. Um, she put like distress oxide inks on hers um, to change the colour to make them look more antiquey. I think she did walnut stain and uh, vintage photo and all that lot. So I thought I'd give those a try, give those a paint, see how they came out. I bought this adorable stamp set. I really, really like that. The only bugbear is, is I was really, really hoping that that would fit a sprocket photo, but it doesn't. It is actually too small. This is a sprocket, one of the things that come in. And as you can see, it's too wide and it's way long. But I figure I could cut this down. You know, I could cut photos down, so. Yeah. Yes, I bought new toothbrush. <laughs> we went in Poundland as well. Um, yeah, I bought an a armband holder for my phone. Because sometimes when I'm out walking, if I'm not wearing jeans, I haven't got a pocket. So I don't know how well I'll get on with this. I, it may end up not getting used. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, my receipt. I got these. These are nice. I like these. Mm 
and get numbers with them. It's really good. A bit of punctuation. Yeah. That was probably the most expensive thing I bought. That was $7.99 today. Uh, oh, no, sorry. This was the most expensive thing I bought. Got some Win um, Dale Rowney watercolours. I got 24 for 10 quid. I've not, I've only used tube watercolours um, once, but what I'd like to do is fill up the empty half pans I've got and put them in my um, palette that I got that's that only got my Eclectic Scribbles ones in. I'd like to do that, but it, I, I need to sort of do a bit of, is it just a case of filling up the pans and letting them dry and then just activating them with water or what, you know? Because I've never done it, so and I've got other watercolours as well that I'd like to do. <clears throat> I got some clear embossing powder and some iris wow embossing powder, which is really, really pretty. I can't wait to try that. Then we went in Poundland and I bought this um monster feet tape and a tape holder. I'm not worried about the tape holder as such, but I just thought the monster feet tape was so cute. Look at it. So <laughs> I thought it was funny, and it was only a pound. So that's pretty much it, I think. Um, and we bought Daryl his book and he got a new toothbrush as well. And that was really, I, I spent about £30, you know, then we bought some lunch and whatever. So yeah, we had a really, really good day. Really, really enjoyed it. Um, very tired. It's now 10pm. So I'm going to upload this and then I think I'm going to go to bed because <laughs> I'm so, 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 so tired. Um, I hope you enjoyed this little, you know, day out kind of thing. Um, I don't normally do this, this is a new thing for me to show us out and about. Um, if I do little snippets of videos like that, I usually upload it to Instagram, you know, to my stories. Is that something you would follow there or would you prefer me to do it here on YouTube or should I do both? I mean, I, I don't know, Ooh, you know. Um, the thing is, when I do it here, I hold my phone that way. But on Instagram, it's got to go that way. So it's it's confusing. Anyway, that's by the by. He's asleep. Has been for an hour or two now, which is great. We ate loads for dinner. Oh, got to take away because I was just so, t so tired and so hungry. Um, yeah, so I am going to go to bed and I will speak to you all soon. Take it easy. Please feel free to give this video a thumbs up. We like thumbs up. If you click the book, you'll be subscribed. If you hit the bell, you'll be notified, YouTube willing, when I upload new content. I really appreciate that you watch my channel. Um, you're all fantastic. Thank you so, 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 so much. And I will see you all soon.